Morning YouTube and the internet. Today I'm assembling the pistons. It's the first start of uh, first part of assembling the um, rotating assembly. Uh, I've had to go at a couple, but what I did do before I started was I watched the video by High Performance Academy on how to put these friggin' pins in. He makes it look really easy. Uh, it's not as easy as I'd hoped, uh, but it is entirely manageable if you're just patient with it. Um, he's using one of these, which I'm also using, which is his binder clips. I don't know which one he bought, but mine, no matter what size, sort of didn't neatly fit the piston, so I had to bend this to make it a bit better, but it does, it does the job now. Uh, I'm going to put you down. Hopefully you can see this bit of a piston. These have all been uh, numbered and everything, so they're going together in a particular order. I can't use this pin in a different piston or anything of the such. I'm putting them all the same way with this stamped on the same side as the spool and and the number. Uh, so it's going to go that way. Uh, so using this slightly modified jobby, slip this in the groove like so. We get a pin dry at this point. I mean, it has some residual oil on it. Pop that in. We're just going to hold that there. Take the piston out of the way. And now we need one of the snap ring pins. Now I was trying to do it exactly the same as he did it. We're putting the brake this way and pushing it in, but I couldn't quite get it in far enough uh, going that way. I've got to use a rag to protect my dainty little fingers. It's a bit fiddly, it's a bit hard, you've got to use a little bit of force, uh, not too much and we don't want to scratch. Actually what I've done with a couple of these, just to help avoid scratching, is I've just taken any burrs off with a bit of emery paper right on the end. The idea of that is to just stop it scratching up the piston if it slips. We're not really taking anything off, we're just making sure there's no burr. They are quite sharp and hard. That's it. Wipe that again. So I'll try it the way he does it again on this one. Sort of get that get that point in there and then push down now. Going this way I can't get it to start, but if I go this way, I still want to keep the end away from this notch. Um, I tend to be able to push it in far enough for it to hold. Just with my fingers, almost. Oops. Some of these go in easier than others. I've had two of them have just gone in real quick and easy. Two of them have been a real pain in the ass. So this one looks is setting up to be a pain in the ass. Okay, Oop, almost. So pushing forward in and down. At this point, it's jammed under there. You get a small screwdriver. And just just let it slip out. 
but I think you get the concept of what I'm trying to do. and push it down a bit with the screwdriver now. And that's lucky that hit me in the chest and come back. So this is difficult. I won't lie. Start. It should be good. Try and take the weight off that clip I've got on the back because it's pushing against me. So this one's a pain in the ass. It really does hurt. Quite hurt my, my poor little thumbs. Realise you probably see very limited amount of what I'm doing. Let's try again. So push. So squeezing, pushing forward and down. Try and get it started. quite a way in there but it's not snapping uh, oh ten Whew. not quite seated all the way let's remove our stopper now did on the last one, put a little burr on it. Just makes it a bit tight to pull out, doesn't scratch it. And it's not in a wear area, so it's not going to be a drama. Scratches and make sure that is in place. It's fully seated all the way around. It certainly appears to be. So now we get some lube. Smear it on the pin. This stuff is tacky as shit. Pin right assembly lube. It sticks to everything. Gets on everything. But that's the idea. And my hands are clean apart from the grease. From assembly. And we try not to get it on everything. Because we're just going to wipe it off later. But we'll put this in. Start this. Pin. Uh, number that side so match this to that. This is a front and a rear on the rod. Line it up. Boom. It's in. Excess bloody assembly grease everywhere.
it's really important we don't leave any of this on the piston because it will um, it'll prevent the rings from bedding correctly. Basically, it'll lubricate it in a way it shouldn't be. So now we have that other pin on that side. That'll hold the. Well, we have the clip on the other side that should hold the pin in place. Is that the same as this? Yes, it is. And go with this again. Second side always seems to be a bit easier. Done. So. There's three pistons. Rinsing and repeating. Yeah, it's hot. Um, three to go. Then I'll uh, move on to the next step when I figure out whatever that's going to be. Well, this is the last snap ring. My fingers and thumbs feel like they're going to burst out and bleeding. But not much to go. So I'll tough it out. One thing to note too is have a very small and easily missed cutout here on the skirt of every piston. That's for the all squirters in the block. So I've got to remember that that's there and align the pistons appropriately. But they're done. My thumbs hurt like hell. I don't want to do that again. I mean, if you're doing it every day, your thumbs are hard enough. Or you find a better technique, but uh, it worked. So, yeah. Pistons are together. Probably need to strip all the tape off the block.